Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I am happy to say that the new Planet Side 2 continent, Hassan, has finally arrived. This thing has been in development forever. I remember a long time ago, I want to say like a year now, I remember them showing pictures, I remember them giving us some details as to what the continent was going to be all about. They were saying that it was going to be very infantry focused, it was going to be set in a marsh-like environment, and everyone was really excited about it. But then, it kept getting pushed back further and further, they came out with the Amorish update, made Amorish a lot more enjoyable. They, you know, they balanced out the game. They, they gave a lot of content since the since the announcement of Hassan, but we never got the new continent. And a lot of people, including me, were assuming that since it's taking so long, that they were just going to release it with the PlayStation 4. That would be like the way to grab new players. Would be you'd be able to grab new people or old people that haven't played Planet Side 2 in quite some time to try it out once again to see what the new environment was all about. And so I assumed we were going to have to wait even even more months or maybe even until 2015. Uh, but no, they they finally released it. It's not finished at this point. I think that they've classified classified it as an exploration continent or something along those lines where a lot of it is set in stone right now. They're happy with the development. They're happy with how everything is laid out. But there are a couple of bases here that they, they want to tweak a little bit further. But they also just want us to jump on in, play on the map, play on all these new bases, and then give our feedback on it. Do they flow appropriately? Is there a lot of spawn traps? Are, are, you know, are they fun to play on? And then they can go back in, reiterate, and move things around and make Hassan just a better continent. So when... I'm assuming when the PlayStation 4 launches, Hassan is in a stable, balanced state, and it's going to be enjoyable for all of the new players. And the biggest thing that I'm loving so far about the new continent is that it's very organic. A lot of the environments make sense with the bases that are placed in there, and sometimes it feels like the, the bases were placed, and then the environment grew around them. Uh, the best example of that I can think of is that there's one base that's entirely amongst the trees. It's not down below by the trunks or anything like that. It's literally in the tree the, the treetops in the canopy, and it's like a gigantic tree fort that you have to fight over. I haven't had the pleasure of fighting over that objective yet. I had I just flew by it with my scythe, but when I saw it for the first time, I was like, hot damn, that is really, really clever. Uh, they also just have a lot of minute details and a lot of just great nooks and crannies that you can explore and use those to flank your enemies. And so for the most part, I just really enjoy and appreciate uh, the amount of detail and hard work they put into this map to make it feel organic and to make it like the environment works with the bases that are placed in there. Uh, another thing I'm really appreciating about Hassan is that it's focused a lot more on infantry-based gameplay. There's still tanks, there's still things flying around up above, and you're going to get bombarded every once in a while by a scythe or, you know, one of those vehicles. But for the most part, if you get in, into combat with someone, it's usually with their primary weapon. It's usually infantry versus infantry gameplay. And for someone who just enjoys that type of combat when they jump into a first-person shooter, like I, just like you guys, enjoy vehicle combat as well. But usually, when I'm thinking about a first-person shooter, I'm thinking about infantry versus infantry. And so the fact that Hassan is more focused on that type of gameplay, I am all about it. Uh, one thing I was a little worried about, though, with this update was simply finding finding action because with the addition of a new continent, that splits up the player base. You guys know that a problem with a lot of first person shooters is that as they age, not only do people leave the game, they move on to other titles and you don't have as many people playing the game to begin with, but also with DLC packs, you start to split up the player base because with more, more maps and more game modes, it's harder and harder to find people to play on those maps because there just isn't as many people and they're spread out amongst the DLCs. And that's essentially what I was assuming what was going to happen with Hassan. Adding in an entirely new continent, a massive new continent, uh, will split the player base even more, and if everyone is within the four different continents, or spread out between all of them, I was worried that trying to find firefights were going to be very sparse. You know, it wasn't going to be the epic gameplay that I remembered a couple of years ago. And so the developers, being the sneaky bastards that they used to be, predicted that this could have been a problem, and created a new continent lockout system that will hopefully alleviate this problem entirely, and it won't even be an issue. And so the way that the new continent lockout system works is that if your faction completely dominates one of these continents, you take all the bases, you, you dominate it, and you lock it out, 
it gives you a nice nifty little bonus. They've actually increased the bonus to make it even more appealing, and at any given moment, only two continents can be completely locked out. You can't capture any bases when they're locked, you can't really fight over them, and so really, the, the gameplay is going to be centered around the other two continents that are, that are unlocked. Once one of those two continents gets locked, so then three continents are locked, one of the previous locked continents will be unlocked, and then everyone can shift on over and play on one of those. And so essentially what this accomplishes, as long as I've explained this correctly, is that it's going to focus the action, it's going to focus the population on two of the continents. They can't be fragmented on all four, because there's no reason to be on the other two. But it also rotates out all of the maps. So one week you may be playing on Indar, the next week Indar might be locked out, and so you'll be forced to play on Hassan. You might be go forced to play on Amrish, keeping the game fresh, keeping you in new and different environments. And so overall, I really like what they've done with the new lockout system. One thing that I haven't been too thrilled about, though, with Hassan, and maybe this is just simply because I haven't played Planet Side 2 in quite some time, and, I'm, and I just don't remember this being a problem, but if an enemy is a fair distance away, and I'm not talking like a mile away by any means, I'm just talking like maybe down the canyon, it can be almost impossible to see them. And I don't know if this is just simply because I've only been playing on Hassan. Maybe this was still an issue on, like, Amorish. It could have been an issue on Indar. But I don't remember it being this difficult to pinpoint what I'm looking at. And it could just be because Hassan's a little darker. It could be th because uh, it's greener. And maybe the green contrast with the flares just doesn't work very well and it can be harder just to see my enemy but there are a lot of times where I just have no idea where the enemy are like I'm getting shot at clearly like it's clear that I'm being spotted but there are a lot of moments where it's like I should be able to see the enemy like they're not that far down there or they're not that very that far off in the distance and almost felt like it was required for me to spot them just to pinpoint my shots and to keep accurate with my shots and to target where they were going this could just be a problem with me maybe I just need to get adjusted to planet side 2 once again and play for a couple more hours and it won't be an issue and I'll be able to figure it out but at least so far that has been the biggest drawback because I'm trying to fight I'm trying to have fun but there's just these moments where people invisible people that shouldn't I think be invisible are killing me simply because I have no idea where they are uh, the last thing I wanted to mention though about Hassan is that they've done a much better job at reducing the amount of spawn camping and the amount of spawn trapping that happens in a lot of these bases. When Planet Side 2 first launched, and even many months after it was released, one of the largest issues of the game is that while it was epic, you had these amazing moments in between bases, once uh, an enemy force, once an enemy faction got up to your base, it just turned into them camping, your your spawn room. You had no way of getting getting out of it. There was basically you just running out, getting killed from a thousand different directions. There was no way for you to retaliate, and it resulted in some very lackluster gameplay. And I know, I know a lot of my friends were turned off on Planet Side 2 because that's what a lot of these rounds and a lot of uh, these engagements just devolved into, were the enemy or you spawn trapping and spawn camping at one of these, uh, one of these locations. And so the way the developers seem to have worked around this is not only are the spawn rooms a little bit further away from the, the the capture points or they seem to be a little bit further away but when you're in the rooms themselves you can also teleport to other sections of the base and so if the enemy is entirely focused on that one spawn room you can teleport to another one flank around and then catch them by surprise and so for the most part I haven't been trapped in a spawn location at all I think there was one time where I was but that felt like it was a fluke like we were we were getting dominated entirely it was like a 100 to like two people so there was no way Way we're gonna come out of it alive but it just seems like overall because the system is in place you have a lot more engaging firefights you're not just being trapped in your spawn room and the overall enjoyment when capturing and defending bases has been vastly improved on Hassan and I think this is also true for a lot of the other continents as well and so in general I, I am really enjoying my return to planet side 2 uh, it is abundantly clear that I still need to spend a couple more hours to relearn everything and also just to learn about all the new additions I, I noticed that there was a crossbow which which was awesome. Didn't really make sense that there's a crossbow in a futuristic first person shooter like you know, who uses a crossbow when you have laser beams, but that was a cool addition. I also noticed that people were laying down some weird force field bubble that I had no idea what it did. I jumped in them, I had, I really had no idea what it was, so if you guys know what the force field bubble is, let me know down below. But it's clear that there's all these awesome great additions in the game, I'm gonna spend a couple more hours just relearning everything and having a good time. Uh, but I'd love to know what you guys think about Hassan. Are you enjoying it as much as I am? Let me know down below. Uh, but until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.